Afternoon, students. My name is Brother Larry Burrell. I'm the minister for the Church of Christ on Parkview Drive. I spent 27 years working with students just like yourself. I enjoyed that, and I'm delighted to be, have, to be here today uh, to be a part of this reading program. Uh, we appreciate uh, one of our supervisors, Sister Jacqueline Matthews, for inviting me here, and I'm just excited to share this book with you today. Uh, today, I want to share a book with you entitled, God, Can You Hear Me? Uh, this particular book is written by Justin Simmons. It is illustrated by Mr. John Papp. And at this time, we're going to share uh, just a few words with you that I think are very important uh, coming from the author of our book, once again, uh, Justin Simmons. This is what she, she's had to say. She said, one day my son Daniel, who was normally cheerful and outgoing, seemed burdened and sad. Clearly something was way heavy on his heart. But when his father, Joy, and I went to talk to him, he didn't want to discuss his problem with us. His father and I have always taught our children to turn to God, to help when they have a problem that they can't solve on their own. That night, without telling us, Daniel wrote a letter to God. Following morning, that following morning, we greeted Daniel as usual. What was ailing him came up in our conversation. And we were able to help fill him out and to find out what was, what was the matter. In Daniel's mind, the letter of God worked. From that point forward, Daniel knew that God could hear and would answer his prayers. This was when I realized how truly important the connection is to God, not only for adults, but also for young children, even those little children like yourselves. We would like to believe that as parents and grandparents, teachers and spiritual counselors and extended family, we can provide our children with all the answers to everything. But we sometimes forget how challenging our children's lives have become. Though we do the best we can, sometimes our answers just are not good enough to calm our children's fears or to, or to steer them in the right direction. And that's part of the reason that we want to share this book with you this morning. This realization prompted me, the author says, to write, God, can you hear me? And that's our book for this morning, God, can you hear me? I, I want all children, she says, to know that there exists another powerful source of inspiration and guidance that they can depend on when they need help. And that's the message that we want to share with you on today. Finally, she says, this sense of strength begins in their hearts and reassures them that God will always watch out for them. So pay, pay special attention because I'm going to introduce you to a number of children uh, just like yourself with some concerns, and each of them will stop and, and, and ask the question, God, can you hear me? Okay, we're going to start here uh, with Jocelyn. Uh, Jocelyn is going to be sharing with us right now. Uh, and as we look at this, as we look at this, Jocelyn says, I wish I had a baby sister, a brother, because I have no one to play with. And Jocelyn asked the question, God, can you hear me? In looking at that, guys, everyone gets lonely sometimes. As an only child, you are just as special as children with brothers and sisters. You can still have fun with your friends and with your family, reading books and playing with your toys. Then I want to introduce you to another student, again, very much like yourself. This is Susan. Susan has this expression to share. Susan says, my friend is in a wheelchair. You see her friend? She's there in the wheelchair. And she's concerned about her friend, just as you and I would be. She says, my friend is in a wheelchair. Did she do something wrong? And then she asked a question, God, can you hear me? Well, let's, let's help her this way. Some people have physical disabilities, but that doesn't mean they did something wrong. That doesn't mean that they did something bad. Treat all of your friends as you would treat anyone else. And that is, of course, with kindness. Then I want you to, move, to meet Suzette. Suzette has this to say. She says, my friend lives with her mom and dad. 
but I live with just one parent. Why can't I be like everybody else? God, can you hear me? Well, Suzette, all families are different. You don't need to be like everybody else. Instead, enjoy all the love of your family, your friends, and enjoy your life. Then Joy. Joy has a concern as well. I want you to pay attention and listen to what, what's bothering Joy, one of our students. Joy says this. Joy says, sometimes kids make fun of the color of my skin. Joey says, it makes me feel bad. And he asked the question, God, can you hear me? Well, let's share this with Joey, okay? Let's do that. Joey, God loves us all, no matter what color we are. He chose beautiful colors for each of us. Be thankful and proud of the color that God made you to. Then, then we have Arnetta. Meet Arnetta. Arnetta says, Grandma died. Is she really gone forever? And she asked a question, trying to understand. God, can you hear me? We're going to share sweet dreams with Arnetta. Arnetta, Grandma is no longer with you, but if you cherish her memories of the time that you spent together, you will always keep her alive in your heart. Isn't that wonderful, guys? Absolutely. Now, now we have these two children, okay? These two guys are in a situation that's really confusing to them. This is what they have to say. Mama and Daddy argue all the time. Do they still love each of us? And they ask the question, God, can you hear me? And wonderfully, we're going to explain to both of them, mommy and daddy may argue, but they still love each other. And you know, they still love you too. Then, then, then we have Susanna. Susanna is sitting next to the tree and you see she's sitting there and her friends are out there playing. I wonder what's on Susanna's mind. This is what she has to say. She says, I wish I was thinner so I looked more like my friends. God, do you hear me? What's our message to Susanna? This is a message. Susanna, God loves you just the way you are. No matter what your body shape or what your body size is, love yourself. And then others will see what is special about you too. And now, Jonathan, as, he, as he's climbing up the tree, something happens. Jonathan says, when mama raises her voice at me, does she still love me? God, can you hear me? What are we going to share with Jonathan? Jonathan, we want you to know, just because mama ra raises her voice at you doesn't mean that she doesn't love you. She just wants you to be safe, and she wants the very best for you. And then Jose. Say hello to Jose. Jose, what's on your mind? Jose is sitting there. He's thinking. He has a dog next to him, but he's got an empty leash on the other side. This is what Jose has to say. He says, my dog Sparky ran away. Will he be okay? God, can you hear me? Sparky, Sparky, Sparky. Let's share this with him. Sparky is so adorable and clever. I'm sure Whoever finds him will love him and take good and excellent care of him. And then, and then, Alice. Alice is looking like she has a lot on her mind. Alice needs to ask a question. Alice says, Mama and Daddy are not the same color. Does that make me different from my friends? She asked a question, God, can you hear me? Let's help Alice with that situation. What's important, Alice, is that your parents love you and that you love yourself. As we look at this, we're going to end with this beautiful family. This is what some would call a mixed family. A mixed family where mom, 
brought kids. Okay, well, mom brought kids uh, to the to the family, and dad brought kids to the family. Listen to what their concern is. One of the children said, "I have a new step family. Will I fit in? God, can you hear me? Listen to what we want to share with them. A step family can be cool because now you have two families to share things with, two families to love. Don't forget." No matter what kind of family you have, there is always the love of God. Maybe you have also wondered about some of these questions in your life every day. And I'm sure that you have. Remember, you can share everything with God. And finally, we want to leave these words with you that our author has shared with us that I believe are very important and can bless your life today. This is what she says. She says in the pages you've just read, Children go to God when they are missing someone special in their life, such as their grandparents or even their dog, or when they are concerned with their body image and fitting in. Perhaps you are experiencing the same things as kids, as the kids in this book, or maybe you have different questions for God. I want you to feel free to speak with him, talk with him, and ask him, and we believe he will give you comfort. Whether you feel similar to the kids in this book, I want to talk to God about what's happening in your school, on your block, or even in your home. You should know that he cares and wants to hear from you. Maybe your questions are more specific. The more you call upon God for guidance, the more God will help you. As a child, you are blessed to have the opportunity to call on your creator, a wonderful and have a wonderful friendship with God for the rest of your life. Once again, this is Larry Burrell. I've enjoyed sharing with you today. May God bless and keep you. Take care until next time.